Will these 2026 movies flop or succeed at the box office? First up is Pixar's Toy Story 5, which I honestly have no idea what they can even do with the story at this point, and I don't really know if Pixar knows where to go with the story either. But despite that, the Toy Story franchise is one of the most popular film series ever, and the last two Toy Story films both made over a billion dollars. So because of the name value, all the kids that are going to want to go and see this, and the adults that grew up with the original that are going to go and see it, this is going to be a massive success. 2026 brings us our next Star Wars movie with the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. This will be the ending of the Mandalorian. Mandalorian TV series and it's going to wrap up both Din Djarwin's story and Grogu's. You know the Mandalorian TV show is incredibly popular, millions and millions of people have watched it, but I still feel like it's a weird choice to end a TV show series with a theatrical movie release. It still just limits the amount of people that are going to go and see this in theaters. Plus the Star Wars brand has been so devalued and watered down over the last couple of years as they keep just pushing out more and more content that this isn't even going to feel like a special event anymore. It's still obviously going to be incredibly popular because it is Star Wars, but assuming the big budget and everything else I listed, I think this is going to be a flop. Next up is Moana, but it's not this one. It's going to be the live action Moana remake, which this is coming out just 10 years after the original animated film came out, which is just kind of insane from Disney. First one was a pretty big success with $687 million at the box office, but you can't underestimate its success because just last year in 2023, this was still the most streamed movie in all of the United States. This film is incredibly popular. So even though this is probably going to be a lazy cash grab of a remake, it's still going to be a huge success. We're getting a new Cat in the Hat movie with Bill Hader starring as the Cat in the Hat but don't worry, it's not going to be live action. After this Cat in the Hat movie, I'm personally really excited to see this character in animated form. Dr. Seuss and this character in general are just so incredibly iconic, and kids' movies generally make a ton of money, so I'm going to say this is another success. Batman Part 2 sadly got delayed to 2026. It was originally supposed to come out next year, but hey, if we get a better product because of it, I'll be fine with it. First movie made $770 million, which is already a huge success. This movie has nothing but positive word of mouth, and so many more people have watched this on streaming on Max and Netflix since this original release date, so the sequel is going to get a huge boost in my opinion. Especially if they give us an iconic villain like Mr. Freeze or Clayface, or sadly even the Joker, even though I'm tired of him, the general audience probably isn't. This movie is going to make over a billion dollars easily. We're getting a sequel to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem in 2026. It's been confirmed. I had a ton of fun with the first movie, and it made $180 million at the box office, which doesn't sound too outstanding, but it had a budget of only $70 million, so that's really a huge success. Success. So I think the sequel's a guaranteed success. I'm feeling positive today. Way more successes than failures. Let's talk about where things get really murky. Avengers the King Dynasty or just Avengers 5, I'm going to call it because we don't know if King's even going to be the villain anymore. As of right now, this is still scheduled for 2026. If it's actually going to make that date, I really have no idea. Now, even as tired as people are of the MCU, if they have characters like Spider-Man, Thor, Doctor Strange, and all them in this with the Avengers name on it, it's going to make a ton of money. The thing is, the last three Avengers films from Age of Ultron to Endgame all cost almost $350 million to make, and including marketing budgets, that probably gets closer to like $600 million. Using those numbers, that means Avengers 5 is probably going to have to make at least $1.2 billion, which in the old days of the MCU would be guaranteed for an Avengers film. But now the MCU has become so convoluted, there's so many TV shows and other things to keep up with that people have just given up on it. I really don't know if this is going to make it, so I'm going to add a new category and say this just breaks even and makes it just about $1.2 to $4 billion.